गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी विल बिगिन विथ पेपर थ्री केमिस्ट्री पेपर थ्री आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू नो द पैटर्न इज सेम एंड हियर इट इज द बिगिनिंग ऑफ सेमेस्टर फोर वी आर बिगिनिंग विथ पेपर थ्री यूनिट थ्री that is statistical treatment of analytical data now see first of all we should know what do you mean by statistics so statistics deals with the calculation or you can say processing of data or analyzing of data right but one should make sure while processing a data that your set of observation or your observation should be free from determinate error means this statistics is used for indeterminate error only now these indeterminate error are large in magnitude you can say they are not very uh, sorry small in magnitude they are not very large in magnitude they are small but they affect the uh, uh, you can say observations but we do not know even the source of uh, indeterminate error now see these set of observation have two basic characteristics one is characteristic property one is central tendency and second one is dispersion or spread you can say now see the pro uh, the property of an, an observation to cluster around the mean is called a central tendency whereas the distribution of the uh, observations around a central value is called as dispersion or spread now this central tendency includes mean median and mode whereas here your spread will in now spread also is for or a dispersion is for two things for single observation and for set of observation for single observation we have deviation relative deviation average deviation and relative average deviation now here for set of observation we have four things first one is range it is also called as spread then we have standard deviation then we have variance and finally we have coefficient of variance all right now beginning with the first thing that is mean what do you mean by mean 
mean is nothing but it is arithmetic mean it is denoted by x bar it is nothing but average say x1 x2 x3 xn are your observations then mean is equal to or x bar will be equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 xn divided by n or x bar will be equal to summation of xi i is equal to 1 to n all right so this is your arithmetic mean now suppose or mean now suppose your readings are say 10.2 10.4 10.6 10.7 10.8 11 so now to find the mean you have to sum it up that is 10.2 10.4 10.6 10.8 and 11 so see 20 carry over 2 so it will be 3 here and 1 2 3 4 5 53 so 53 divided by 5 5 observations are there so if you divide 53 by 5 see 5 ones are 5 3 then 5 6 are 30 all right so 10.6 will be the mean here now moving on to the median say suppose the readings given to you are once again say 10.2 10.4 suppose these are your readings all right now you want to find the median see for median first and foremost thing is you have to arrange it in the ascending order so 10.2 10.4 10.6 10.7 and 10.8 this way they have to be arranged now if it is odd if the number of observations is odd take the middle reading take middle one and that is the median so here see number of observations are 5 so 10.6 becomes the median Now suppose the readings are somewhere here. I have taken 10.9 also. Now we have arranged it in ascending order. Now see we cannot take the middle one because in middle two readings will come. So what we have to do is we have to take these two readings and take the mean of this. So 10.6 plus 10.7 divided by 2 you get 10.65 this becomes the median if your observations are even in number all right if it is odd you can always take the middle one next coming coming to the next is say mode
Now see, mode depends on the frequency of occurrence of the observation. The reading or the observation which occurs for more than one time, it is called as mode. Now here, this set of observation, see here, any reading repeats? No. So it does not have mode. Now say it has mode and which is 10.4. The set of observation can also have two modes like in this it has two modes. That is 10.4 and 10.6. Now suppose I change only one mode that is 10.6. So this is about the central tendency we have seen mean, median and mode. Now moving on to the dispersion or we can say deviations. So first one is here deviation in this dispersion we will see first one as deviation deviation is xi minus x bar what do you mean by xi suppose d1 is there then x1 minus x bar that is suppose your set of uh, readings are x1, x2, x3 then from that reading or from that observation you have to subtract the mean that is called as deviation. Alright. Now next is relative deviation. Relative deviation means what? It is x1 minus x bar upon x bar. Alright. You have to subtract the mean from the observation and then you have to divide it by mean. This is called as relative deviation. Then you have average deviation. Average deviation means what? Suppose the deviations are D1, D2, D3 and so on. So, Dn. So, D1 plus D2 plus D3 dash 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 Dn divided by N. This becomes your average deviation. Now, moving on to relative average deviation. Now relative average deviation means what? Say I give this as D bar. So it is nothing but relative average deviation is equal to D bar upon X bar. Means what? It is average deviation divided by mean. So this will give you relative average deviation. Next is range. Suppose you have a set of observation so see here the difference between the maximum and the minimum of the observation is called as range. So, x maximum minus x minimum. This will give you the range. So, see here, here it will be 10.6 minus 10.1. 
so your range comes out to be 0.5 range is also called as spread now next is standard deviation it is given by the formula under root of xi minus x bar whole square upon n minus 1 when n is less than 20 means you have observations less than 20 then you have to use this formula for standard deviation and if n is greater than 20 then the formula becomes xi minus x bar whole square upon n if n is greater than 20. Now next coming to next is variance. Variance is nothing but square of standard deviation. This is variance. Next is coefficient of variance. So, COV is S upon X bar, but it is generally expressed as parts per 100 so or percent. So, this much percent you can say that is standard deviation upon mean into per 100. This will give you coefficient of variance. So, this was about the formula and this unit is basically based on the numericals only. So we have to practice many numerical. So in my next lecture we will see the numericals based on this. Thank you.